Hi Stampers, this is Super Awesome Stamper Shirley Merker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, USA. I'm excited to share how to create this caramel apple card, so let's get started. My base is the Crumb Cake cardstock. It measures eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and I've already processed it through using the Pinewood Planks embossing folder. So it gives that nice wood grain look. And then my inside and outside pieces are stamped almost identical. So I'm gonna open up my crumb cake ink pad. And I just place some seeds at the top. So one on either side, I'm gonna try to get this straight while I'm stamping on camera. That doesn't look that straight to me. Maybe I'll pull it a little closer. Get that a little straighter there. Okay, and then this one as well. All right, and then the one piece I need to stamp, they'll give thanks. Now, one trick if you've got a problem with getting your sentiments totally horizontal, stamp it at an angle. Nobody will know that it, it looks that way. You don't have to worry about getting it straight. So, I'm done with the ink pad. Shut that up and put that aside. All right, so I can start assembling, actually. I'm going to pull in my stamp and seal. Actually, I think I've got a stamp and seal plus in there right now. So this is the outside layer. I know I'm covering up most of that pine wood plank layer, but that's okay. When they open the card up, they'll see the, the nice embossed piece right there. And then this is the inside piece. All right, next layer is going to be a pattern from our plaid tidings collection. There's 12 different plaids in that collection, four of each pattern, and there are four sheets of each. It's a six by six collection. It happens to be on sale until October 31st, so Go to my blog at superawesomestamper.com to access my online store to place your order. And if you place an order using the host code that's advertised by Black Friday, you'll get a ticket to our Black Friday event. So details of the Black Friday event are also on my blog at superawesomestamper.com. Just had to include that while I was taping stuff down. All right, so then these strips were just from my scrap bin. So they're a half inch, yep, by three and three fourths inch. So the plaid tidings was cut at three and three four or three and three fourths by three inches. There, so that kind of gives a, a bracket or a frame for that plaid. All right, next I'm going to use our apple biller punch and punch cherry cobbler apple. And then I'm going to use a scrap of a crumb cake and punch the caramel. All right, and grab my paper snip. So there's no real method to how you want to make your caramel. It's just fussy cut drips. So I know my outer drips will be longer than my inner drips. And I want to have five of them. So I'm just kind of working my way around. And then this last one will be longer. There. And if you like the way your drip is, then I would just grab your scrap mat and make a template. So if you're making a whole bunch of cards for some friends, just go ahead and make a, a template using a pen and a piece of stiffer scrap paper. So this the paper that I'm using is just a backer sheet from one of our embellishment packs. Okay, so you can cut that out and put that on your crumb cake and then, uh, and then use that as a pattern. Okay, so next up, we're gonna attach this down and you can use whatever glue you'd like. I'm gonna use a strip of that stamp and seal. 
And since we use the punch to punch out the crumb cake caramel topping, it fits perfectly over the full apple. All right, next, grab your fine tip glue pen. Now my fine tip glue pen is almost out. So my tip has been plugged. I normally use it in the spring and summer and then for my snowman cards. But, uh, whoops, it sat for a while. I shouldn't say a while. Since probably early spring, so that tip has been plugged. If your tip plugs, you can run it under the water with some hot water and use the tip of the, the pen or the pin in the cap or get a pin from your sewing stash to unplug it or just use it a lot. Um, I tend to forget about it, but if you use it frequently, it won't plug. All right, and then you can use the tip of your cap, so the fine tip to kind of move the glue around. And this is kind of like a reverse sugar cookie decorating, where sugar cookies, you line the outside and then flood it with frosting. Here we flooded the inside and I'm using the fine tip to move it out to the outside. And if you don't have enough glue, you just add a little more. Just trying to get to the edges. You might need a little bit more. And this will take maybe about 30 minutes to dry, depending on how much glue you've added. So I'll just set it aside to dry before I attach it to my card. And if you see a lot of uh, marks, you know, drag marks, just go ahead and add another layer of glue. Kind of build it up a little bit there. So I'm gonna set that aside a little bit towards the top because I still need, cap that up as best I can, I still need this scratch paper here. So here is my stick. It's just a quarter inch by something, oh, almost three inches from my scrap bin. I'm gonna pull back in my punch, insert, insert it through the back side on the leaf, the curvy part of the leaf, and depress till it catches the paper, and then fully press down. And then that looks like the edge of a wooden stick. Now it doesn't look like a wooden stick yet. Grab your crumb cake Stampin' Right marker and with the flat edge of the fat side, just drag it along. And you want to have some of the color of the paper show through so that it looks like the grain of wood. And that looks good to me. All right, for this, uh, then I will grab my green glue, which never seems to be plugged because I use it so frequently and then just place that down on the through the center of your card knowing that your apple will go over it so when that dries I will attach that and then I've already pre-tied a bow so when again when that glue dries I just attach the bow uh, with our white seam binding on a glue dot. I'll just place it right there. The very last embellishment is pulling in your wonderful gems. So there are two sizes and two colors in this collection. And I just had one from another sheet that I was using, the smaller size. So let's just put that one right there. You can kind of see which which size you like. The card on the left uses the larger size, the card on the right uses the smaller size. So there you go. So thanks for watching. Now you know how to make your own very own caramel apple card. If you like my videos, go ahead and click the sub subscribe and notify bell so you get notified of new content to my YouTube channel. Also go to my blog at superawesomestampware.com and subscribe there as well. That's where I post all my paper crafting inspiration, including promotions and current events. I'm hosting a Black Friday virtual event with three other demonstrators across the globe. 
We would love to have you join us. So go to my blog at superawesomestampware.com for the full details. Essentially place a $35 or more order using this host code before Black Friday 2020 and you'll get a ticket to our virtual event. I hope you can join us. This is Super Awesome Stamper, Shirley Merker. Bye.